Hello, Delaware Shakespeare family. Hey, friends. Uh, my name is David. I'm back. I get to read another sonnet. Thanks for having me. Uh, so we're going to pick up with sonnet 58. This is a continuation of sonnet 57. Um, there is... Uh, the, the building energy of 57 carries into 58. There's um, th similar sentiments from one sonnet to the next. This, this, this feeling that the sonnet writer has towards the lover and towards the lover's behavior or activities when they're not together. Uh, it leaves much to be desired by the sonnet writer. Uh, it feels like there's a bit of uh, jealousy, maybe mistrust, but also there is a, another thing going on here um, where there is a, not necessarily a surrendering to the role that the sonnet writer is gonna play, but there is a, um, there is an acceptance that happens. This, this transition occurs in sonnet, 58, um, and some color of it was left in 57, um, was left behind. And I think we pick it up, um, and we double down on, on this, this feeling, this offering. Um, so let's check it out. Let's see if we can't, uh, do this with a bit of love underneath it. That's the challenge I'm going to pose myself. And we will see if we can't clarify in the second half. We're using privilege as a verb. So I'm going to see if I can't make that clear. Um, here we go. Sonnet 58. That God forbid that made me first your slave. I should in thought control your times of pleasure or at your hand the count of hours, to crave being your vassal, bound to stay your leisure. Oh, let me suffer being at your beck, the imprisoned absence of your liberty, and patience tamed to sufferance, Bide each check without accusing you of injury. Be where you list. Your charter is so strong that you yourself may privilege your time. To what you will. To you it doth belong. Yourself to pardon of self-doing crime. I am to wait, the waiting so be hell. Not blame your pleasure, be it ill or well. Thanks.